Welcome, I'm on this uh, old computer and I want to go with you inside the BIOS system or system settings or UEFI or whatever name they give it these days but I'm pressing F8 or escape or anything else you need to go to the setup so this is a specific kind of um, computer system we'll soon see enough what it's called this is always tricky right it's um, sometimes difficult to find your way around all these settings and on arclinks.com you have many many videos just about this particular well face um, if you want to install Linux you sometimes have to set things right the way they should be so it's not always this beautiful with a mouse and all these these uh, beautiful icons but it's um, similar we're gonna look for the same words and here we see some information you could google p8 set 7 set 7 and so on so an i7 3770 speed and all that memory a lot of memory is in here cpu not doing anything <laughs> so 24 degrees it's okay and so on and so on so the information we have here exit advanced with boot menu advanced mode f7 shortcut f3 so I'm, I'm just reading the buttons and you should press the buttons we have here access power saving of normal and not what's this uh, all kind of options this is speed right i suppose it's gonna be speed so just beginning end and you see here a little bit the graphics these are settings straight from ss themselves so if you don't have them eh, buy ss next time not that I'm promoting assets, but mm, yeah, I have many more ports coming from them. So we have here boot priority, which we can just actually drag around. So start with the CD-ROM. Okay, fine. Start with the CD-ROM or start with the UEFI, which is the, well, Google it, right? I don't know anymore, but um, it starts with that. It's the small boot partition that has a FAT32 format and then you can boot from it. So, if you can't find this, it will try to boot with that, which is a CD-ROM, which I don't want. So I'm gonna say UFI, then my hard disk, and then eventually, it's not uh, of these days anymore. Nor will I put or would I buy ever again a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM in my systems. It's all with USB these days, right? But anyway, so we can actually save this thing and go on. So the boot menu is F8, default is I've done something wrong, just put everything back, right? That's default F5, but I want to go to advanced mode F7 as well. All right, this is more, well, what we're used to. Let's say the older versions of BIOS, we were just navigating with our cursors around and with a tap and so on and the right mouse click. As, I mean, right arrow and left arrow and up and down and change things. So the date that's correct, the time is correct, all that security, we could go into that. But let's go to the things that matter. Uh -huh. Maybe set a configuration to change that maybe. And the rest won't do that. No, monitor, how hot is it? This guy is, is in red for some reason. It's an older computer, it's uh, eight years old. Fast boot, disabled, enabled. That's maybe interesting. The boot logo, I don't wanna see it. It's again, time wasted. And post report, two seconds, so a little bit less, I think. The numlock is on, that's important. Mm, yeah fine no easy mode setup advanced mode or easy mode so we're now in the advanced one and here it becomes interesting compatibility support module items to fully support the various vga bootable devices and so on so that's enabled and i told to the system you want to have both of them so when i put in a usb of Arclinix. There are two options for any user. 
that's either use UFI and in this case use bias. So remember the UFI is three lines, black screen, three lines. And when you're in a grub system, then it's, it's beautiful. It has a logo and has a colors, a, a frame and all that. It's beautiful, right? So I can choose. I can set it to UFI only or to grub only. It's up to you. And then that's the most important thing. And all the rest is network storage, but might be needed for you. I don't know. Then the secure view boot at some point in time. I think two days or so ago on Discord, right? There are videos about it. So we have the Windows UFI mode. Just read to the right there how to select your installed operating system. Execute the Microsoft Secure Boot Check. Only select this option when booting on Windows UFI. And then the other one, get the optimized function when booting on Windows non-UFI mode, Windows Vista, etc. But of course, also Linux. Those are my settings. And that's the point, right? Once set, you never look back. Once it's set, that boot option is UFI OS. That's it. I never look back. Boot option two is going to be my Samsung. And boot option three, which I can actually unplug in my desktop here, is my CD-ROM. But DVD-ROM. And then we're going to save, right? We need to save somewhere. Where do we save? F10. You see the bottom right? F10. These are other things. Flashing, flashing buys and all that. Might help. But first Google and see what this Asus motherboard bias update would change. And if you want that change. And I'm going to do an F10. Where's F10? There you are. Save configuration and reset. Yes. So that's it for me. And we just went through the bias or the settings or setup or whatever it's called on your system. And make sure that everything works. This is an Arch Linux old uh, SSD. We'll see how long ago it is actually is. And then we'll call it the day. So last minus F. Last, it was installed on January the 2nd of 2020, so 10, 11 months ago. And the last time I booted up was October the 8th. I will make now an update video about it. All right, cheers.